So today's video is on this Model 3. It's uh, one of the first to come out of the Gigafactory in China. Uh, so the finish quality has massively been improved. The um, panel gaps are better. The paintwork, most importantly, is better, which is what I'm really going to be going into detail in, in this video, working on the paintwork, perfecting this car, and showing you just how bad it, or I don't really have any footage of how bad they used to be, but there's plenty of footage online of some of the bad Tesla paintwork, whereas now, from what I've seen, this is a much better finish um, all over the car. So, get the car prepped up outside, it's pretty clean, but we've got to get it fully decontaminated, make sure there's nothing on the car, and then uh, get the polishing work started and have a look at it inside. Pretty normal marks around the door handle to be expected, especially with these types of door handles. Quite actually quite difficult to open without touching a car. Um, but I'm just gonna run around the car now and show you all the different marks that are on there. It's definitely not perfect, it's not the best new car I've ever seen, also not the worst, which considering I probably would have put Tesla up there with the worst before. Um, it, it's bad, but it's not too bad. There's a couple of machine related marks, so there's a line there you go, you see that dotted line almost at the bottom of the light? Runs all the way along the door, that looks like some sort of machine related mark. Very strange actually. As you go over here, you see those buffer trails at the top? That's where someone's tried to polish it before. Um, you can see the difference, there's no, not many swells over here where they've polished it. And then when you go over here, there's way more swells. So, someone's polished it, not done the best refining job. So you've got all these marks, which will be very easy to remove. Keep going around the car. Bit sharper mark there. Just on the. A few more marks here as well. Bit sharper. Lots of these spots over the car. Uh, hopefully they come out nice and easy. Not really 100% sure what they are at the moment. Give it a feel. Hopefully. So that you can see how soft the paint is. Just scratch it up, even just touching it with my finger there. See those scratches? That's how soft this paint is. Um, the black, piano black stuff actually isn't that bad. I mean, compared to normal. So that's quite impressive. More of these weird spots. Um, bumpers are always a bit more swelled up than the rest of the car normally, a bit softer. Also some weird burns on the bonnet here. Uh, and some signs of polishing work. So it really looks like the bonnet is actually the worst area of the car. And then a big old etching there. Some paint chips there. Quite, there we go. Very difficult to see. Just there. Not that white light, but there you can see. Almost better without the light. Weird U-shaped mark back here. Don't know how that's happened. Oh, and there's some more deeper scratches down here as well. I can see them there, funny shaped ones. So I'm here to go, and then there is a lot, there's a really deep scratch up here actually. Uh, that one there, that's probably going to be cutting out. Where has it gone? There. That one 
I mean, those two there. Pretty, top deck's pretty similar to the rest of the car. Not too bad. More of these weird spots. Driver's door, actually quite clear if you look at it up here. The whole driver's door quite good, except from down here in this right side corner where, by the looks of it, that deeper scratch, there's a deeper scratch in the middle of all of those, there you go. See that sharp scratch there? Someone's obviously had a nice little rub on that and uh, caused all that scratching around it. So, very soft, which is always, uh, I say fun, it's not gonna be very fun. But um, yeah, some areas, like you look up here, there's almost no marks at all. So, considering what I've seen before, massive improvements, um, but still got a long way to go. Some more abrasions or uh, maybe even machine related marks there. Right on the front bumper. Quite dull actually, it's very obvious even without the light. That one. And then just these scratches. So, as you can see, paint depth gauge out. When I measure down here, we're getting actual warnings for how thin it is. So 52, paint layer is too thin. Go on the doors, it's all fine. So annoyingly, much like the other car I worked on before, it is quite thin in some areas. So you've got to be really careful. Um, obviously haven't got that bit sorted yet with the painting. But, um... Right, so now we've uh, looked over the paint. We know what we're dealing with. Try and find the best combination that in a single stage that will give the best defect removal and finish to clear up all the scratches. Hopefully on a new car, you can normally clear them all up uh, pretty easily. But then again, this is a Tesla, so it's going to be a bit different. Um, try and remove all these little dots as well. Hopefully they come out of the polishing, but we'll get into that and see what works. So the defects are actually so bad, I've had to do a two stage. So cutting on the bonnet here, you can see it's hazy compared to here where it looks a lot glossier. But once I refine this, it will look a lot better. Very annoying, but it's the marks just aren't coming out at a single stage. So it needs a bit more.
So this area here, where I was uh, just wet sanded it because I had a really deep scratch in it. Um, I'll flash back to the scratch before now. Um, but as you can see, wet sand, hot cut with the compound. Uh, it's completely gone. Just need to refine that and uh, it will look perfect. So, slowly making my way around the car, um, I've gone around and cut every area I think needs cutting. So that's the heavier, more abrasive polishing first. Um, and then now I can single stage over the whole car and in the process of doing that, I'll be able to refine those cut areas. Uh, maybe I was a bit jumping ahead of myself this morning, saying, oh, it's better than they were before, blah, 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 it's really good. Um, when I looked over it, it was raining. So I actually thought it was a lot better than it was. And once I got it in here, it was a bit worse. Um, a lot of the marks are actually a bit deeper than I thought it'd be. So a um, bit of cutting involved to get them out. But now it's looking nice. So let me just give you an example. So here is an area that I've cut. So when you see it, it looks very bloomy around the light. So um, let's just quickly jump in. I could do one of those fancy transitions and show you the difference. So. There we go, the refined version of that. Try and get nice and close so you can see the flake. Very difficult for the camera to focus because there's no scratches to focus on. But um, as you can see, that's a much more glossy finish. Um, basically removing all the tiny scratches I put in there when I removed the larger scratches. So um, yeah, that process over some areas of the car and then just a straight sort of single stage over the rest of the area. So pillars, not too bad, they can do a single stage. All of the top areas, anything that's probably been wiped over when the car was in transport or prior to delivery, yeah. I think the Tesla, the Tesla China factory has really improved the finish compared to the other ones I've seen. I forgot to mention actually, um, guy in the unit next door, he's got a Model 3, and when I was talking to him this morning, because I had this outside, he was like, Oh, it's from the China factory. I was like, yeah, explain about the paint differences. He was like, come and look at mine. And he shows him the door sill where all the paint's flaking off. And I think he's had the car for about two months. So um, he said he called up the paint guy at Tesla and they said, yeah, yeah, we'll book it in all that. And he wasn't asking any questions. He was just a bit like, uh, this sounds like it's a normal thing. And he's like, yeah, it's not the first time we've heard it. So obviously aware there's a lot of issues. So just quickly show you before up here on the pillar. You can see just light swirling. It's not like the doors where there are deeper marks going in. Oh. Big log of arms. Just taping up the rubber trims on the sort of other side of the pillar because I don't want to get polish residue in there.
So that's the paintwork all polished out, so time to wipe it down, remove all the tape and start the coating. From the sky and from the ground, up above just like below, and I don't know where I should go. Coated this driver's door and then the whole car has been coated. Um, using G Technic Crystal Serum on this one, um, which is really nice and slick, nice and soft on the cloth when I buff it up. Um, and it gives a really nice shiny finish. So, once I've done this, I will start prepping the glass, um, get that water spot removed, um, panel wipes, and then get a gold for the coating. And then we've just got to hoover out the interior clean the leather down, to make sure there's nothing on there that will block uh, the coating that's going on there. Um, and then interior glass, that's pretty much it. But yeah, really starting to come together, lovely blue. Yeah, really nice blue on this one. So that's a wrap on the Model 3. Um, really happy with how it came out. That blue just looks crazy. You saw all the other shots. Uh, definitely a lot more work than I initially thought. Not the best new car, um, but I think they're definitely on the road to better paint work. The panel gaps are a lot better. The overall finish is better than some of the cars I've seen, um, but there's still a lot to improve on. So enjoy the other shots and thanks for watching.